everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Sharon Cullen Art. Today, I, oh, there's the dog. Pause. Okay, start again. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I had posted on Instagram that I had finally got a video recorded and that I would be posting it once I got the editing done. And I went to edit. And the bottom half of my video was out of frame. So I need to redo the whole thing again. What I was doing, excuse my breathlessness, <laughs> I'm uh, dealing with that lung issue. So um, I'll show you what I had done. And I'm going to show you one that I had ruined that I will probably redo. Um, let me pull it out of my garbage can here. Uh, I, oh, no, that's not it. I don't know where I put it. Well, anyway, I was going to redo a peony painting that I did. I know I threw it away. I just don't know where it went to. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, uh, I did this simple one, this very simple one. This is a Miss You card. And all I did was put splotches of paint all over. And then I took a ballpoint pen and just kind of scribbled over it like flowers and leaves and then splattered some paint. And that was all there was to it. The colors are very pretty. It's very simple. Anybody could make this card. And the nice thing about it is that your brain does all the work for you. You look at it and you know it's flowers and leaves and it's a spring card. So very simple. The A person picking up a paintbrush for the very first time can paint this painting. So we'll be doing that. I'm also going to be painting a peony, hopefully. And I will be doing this wisteria, which I've done a wisteria painting in the past but it was many years ago, and I was very new to my painting adventure myself. So I'm redoing it again. And this was the little painting that I had done um, for Wisteria to make a card out of Wisteria. Or you could just make it a painting. This was just a piece of paper. I just used it. It was scrap paper. And I uh, decided to put this on it. So um, I'll go ahead and I will repeat that for you as well. Now, of course, they're going to look different every time. And the peony, um, if I can find it, I'll show you how I ruined it. Maybe it's on the back of this one. Nope. I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, I ruined it. It looked pretty and I didn't realize it looked pretty. I thought it looked not so good until I saw it on camera. It was the only one that came out uh, on the um, on the frame and was not cut off, but I wasn't happy with it. The reason I wasn't happy with it was because I had put all this paint over the background after I was finished with it, and I should have left well enough alone. If I had done that, it would have been a beautiful piece. But I can do it again. A peony is a peony. They're not hard to do. They can take a little bit of practice. So we're going to start with the easiest one and we will simply progress through. My peony will be the last one. I'll do the wisteria second because that's pretty simple as well. And um, yeah, and then the peony. So let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, but an update uh, that I had on my previous video um, that I'm discarding was that if you follow me over on my Instagram channel and you're not seeing as many updates from me, um, well, there's been a lot going on in my world, actually. I've been have, dealing with a lot of the health problems and stuff. And um, I've been dealing with house renovations and stuff like that and landscapers and all sorts of different stuff and family issues and my father hasn't been doing well and I'm very very concerned about him um, he's 93 he's ready to go he insists that his heart stopped one day and that he wasn't breathing but that he woke up and started to breathe again but he said it was very peaceful and I thought uh oh that sounds real so um, I don't think it'll be long for him but I don't know he's 93 who knows how long he'll live so 
um, that's stressing me out quite a bit and um, being far away from him. I'm a couple hours away from him. All my siblings are within a half hour distance, but um, I'm pretty far away. So, but my Instagram channel, um, I will continue to post updates there, but my harp music, my progress, all of that is going to go over onto a different channel. I, it is called, or not a channel, a different Instagram page. I apologize for that. And that one is called The Harping Catholic. There is Christian-based stuff on there as well, but my harp music will be over there. So um, if you want to see harp updates, you'll need to go over to that channel to follow me over there, or you won't see any of them because I'm not going to post them on my other Instagram channel. Um, yeah, so... I think that's pretty much it. Anything else I can tell you while we're painting. So let's get started. Okay, in this one I just used like four colors. I used some sap green. I have some cobalt teal blue here. These are all Daniel Smith. Orange and a uh, permanent yellow deep, which was by Shinhan PWC. The orange is Paranone. Not my favorite. It's a semi-transparent orange. But basically, all I'm doing is just flipping bits of paint here and there. Just putting them on all over the place. Some of them, uh, the greens I'm doing in different colors. Just adding a little blue to it or whatever. And I did use some phthalo green yellow or whatever that's called. But then after I'm done, I'm just going around and putting ballpoint pen on them and turning them into flowers and leaves. Once done with that, I'm just putting a few splatters of paint on, and then I'm going to make a tag that says Miss You. I'm just stamping it on with some ink, adding uh, some punched holes, and putting a ribbon through it. And then you just tape it down, and you're all set. It's really all there is to it. Now, I really I didn't complete it on this one like I did on my first one, but you'll get the idea. I just go up and down with my ribbon, and then loop it through, and that's all there is to it. Um, and you can put it on any way you'd like. I found the peony. It was sitting right under my nose. I'll show you how I ruined it. The flower itself turned out okay. Then I put the leaves on and I did not like the way they were looking. So then I started splotching paint around and I ruined it. Then I ended up stamping Miss You on it because I was checking my stamp for the other card. But So I will redo that one for you. But you can see that, you know... I screw them up too. Okay, so I've taped down my paper. I'm using a number four brush, lavender paint from Daniel Smith and sap green. And I'm going in very dilute with the first amount of paint. And if you look at paint. wisteria leaves, they've kind of got, they're almost heart shaped, but they go in every which way direction and they get smaller as they go down the branch. They're really pretty, uh, very easy to paint. So now I put all this down with some faded green toward the bottom and I'm just letting it dry. Now that it's dry, I'm going back in again with some darker paint or more concentrated paint. And I'm kind of going over the one that was already there uh, just because that's where I wanted to place the flower. But once I go over those, then I go over it again, as you can see, um, to make it darker in some spots. And if you look at pictures of wisteria, you'll see that that's the case. Once you get all that done, you can put in some leaves, just small leaves here and there, don't overdo it. And then I go down with a script or liner brush and put in my stem down the center. I don't go over the top of each and every one of those flower petals. Some of them you want in front of the stem, some you want behind the stem. So it just kind of goes back and forth. But make sure that you, every one of those little flower petals, you are picking up uh, a little stem to attach it to the plant. Otherwise, it's just floating in midair, and that's going to look funny. But when you get to the bottom, as you can see, I extended the stem a little bit further, and those green areas are areas that have either not bloomed yet or already bloomed. I think it they have not bloomed yet is how that works, but that's all there is to wisteria. Now I'm going on to my third one, and you can make that a card. You can keep it a painting. Do whatever you want with it. Now we're going to do the um, peony. And um, this is also pretty simple. What I'm going to do is a peony that's partially closed with some of its petals flopping down at the bottom. 
that's a nice, easy, and pretty look. This is going to be a loose style peony, not anything that's super realistic. Now on the last one here, I'm going to be using Quinacridone Rose as my main color, and then also again, some sap green. That's all you're going to need, uh, a pink color and a green color. And I'm going to start out by diluting my paint pretty significantly for the first layer. And when you paint that first layer, you're going to paint kind of a C shape or a moon, like a new moon shape on your paper, which is going to be where the flapped down petal, petals and the closed up petals kind of meet. And then you will take that around the top. Here's my C shape. And then I'm just going to take it around the top for the top portion of the petals on the back side. Sorry for the beeping. Um, and then the middle there will be the closed up area. And we're going to get to that in a little bit. Now I want to take and make my flapped down petals where the petals have fallen at the base of the flower. And I just kind of put them all over here, keeping them somewhat dilute. Uh, those dark areas of paint, I'm going to kind of lift up because I don't care for them there. And I'm just drying it just a teeny bit. You don't want that dry, but I had it a little too wet. So now I'm going in with a little bit darker paint where that seam line is, I guess you could say, and just putting that around those edges there. And now I'm going to go ahead and kind of draw it down on the petals, not out to the ends of the petals. The edges of the petals are a much lighter than at the base of the petal. And so that's what I'm doing on all of these petals. And now in the center, I'm just kind of showing the tops of the petals, which are a bit darker because they haven't opened up yet. And I'm leaving a lot of white of the paper in there so that you can see the distinct difference in each petal. And then I gradually make those little lines thicker and thicker until I get around to the outside. And then I'll just adjust the flower any way that I see is needed. Like right here, I did not like the way all that darker paint was spreading. So I'm picking it up and then I'm going to fix it again. Looks a little funny right now, but I'll fix it. And then if you feel like you need petals anywhere else, like I felt that that was a little off there, I just add a little more to it. And that's all there is to it. It is so simple. And you can keep layering and making it um, a little more concentrated as you go until you feel like you've got it right. And then go ahead and slap a stem on it and some leaves and you're all set. Now the leaves on this plant grow in groupings of three to five leaves. Um, so I'm trying to keep the leaves, when I do the leaves, you'll see I'm putting them together in groups of three or five. Now I'm adding a little bit of my pink to my green in order to make it more olive. Got a little too dark there, so I'm adding a little more green to it. But that takes that sap color down a little bit and makes it more of a dark green. I bled a little bit into my petal though, so I'm just gonna pick that up and then I'll go ahead and put the remainder of the stem on. I want to dry that so it doesn't keep smearing together. Put my stem on and then my leaves and we're all set. Now the leaves come off on these little branches and that's where you'll get your groupings of three or five. And they're just simple oval shaped leaves. It's pretty much all there is to it. Very simple. Now, I, I have a little too much liquid on my brush there. It's been a while since I've done watercolor, so it's an adjustment after doing gouache for so long to go back into watercolor. It takes me a minute to get used to it again, so I'm just drawing some of that paint out. I wish I would have left a little more white for reflection, but it's really not necessary. This is just a greeting card. Not a big deal. 
and then that's basically all there is to it. Now mine were just pieces of paper. You can do a folded card or you can do this and then attach it to a card, however you'd like to do it. Or you can mat it and then use your backer board as your greeting for a, um, like a greeting card matted painting. But that's pretty much it, you guys. So remember everybody, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other, take care, God bless you, have fun with your painting, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.